Now that we've finished the original bedrooms, our focus is going to move to the new bedroom, the media room, and begin working from the hallway back to the new extension. Up until now there's been so much building work and getting out of the ground and foundations being laid. It feels like now that we have some finished rooms, we've set a standard. The site's buzzing now because we're keen to get the next room done. Designing this house, we knew we wanted to incorporate a second entertaining area or a media room. I think it was important for us with the media room that it isn't just a media room. It's a second living area or a hangout room for the kids. We want it to feel really comfortable and multi-purpose. And in here is our TV room. In the bedrooms we've got the 900 height Easy Ascot panels and in the media room we've gone for the full height panels. The Easy Ascot is going to go from floor right up to the ceiling so it's going to have that beautiful big long profile which is that, again that modern sort of colonial look. And it links it all together but it just sort of feels grand. A standard ceiling height is 2.4 metres and these are 3 metre ceilings. I think a study nook in a modern family home is a must. What we're essentially going to do is build a built-in desk here and we'll probably end up doing some overhead storage too um, for functionality but also to make it look pretty. And then we've got another bedroom in here. And we've kept it really simple in here. We've got down lights, some gorgeous wool carpet and a built-in robe. We have a house now. It, it's not a construction site anymore. It's a house that's just not quite finished. Correction, it's still a construction site. No, it's, it's a house. It's getting there. We've got a couple of finished rooms. Doesn't make it quite a house just yet. I would quite happily live here. Now I went to order a couch for there and they yeah. don't have any stock. So... Bean bags. <laughs> That's where the bean bags go. <laughs> Third bedroom. I made the executive decision to change this colour. It's just too pretty for me. It's a pretty cool colour. It's a fun colour. But yeah, I just, yeah, it's just not right. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from the troubles in my life. <laughs> Cara changed her mind yet again from apricot illusion back to sizal rope. I think I was the first one to say I don't like the apricot, but um, mm. what do I know, you know? Well, as Fraser knows, he's only been painted for 35 years. It's pretty heavy, lad. Not really wet. And so now that we have two bedrooms done, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, we've set the tone and yeah, we can move forward and be really excited with what's to come. I've used the same colour that I've used in the front bedroom, which is Torman Snow Olive. I've gone all the way to the ceiling to really play on that height. The art is a gorgeous photograph of some sand dunes in South Australia. As a timber lover, I'm a big fan of our entertainment unit. It's got some really beautiful characteristics and grain. The couch is a little bit of a different choice. It's something I haven't seen before and I fell in love with it straight away. This room had to be multi-purpose, so we've opted for a gorgeous soft sheer. It does block out a bit of the light. It's just a nice, beautiful space that doesn't feel dark. In most of our renovations, we have timber floors everywhere, but it's nice to have one living space, which is just really nice, luxurious carpet. The carpet colour is called oatmeal, which is so fitting because I wanted it to look nice and sandy, but oatmeal is also a pretty accurate description of the colour. It tastes great too. <laughs> The study nook is sort of tucked behind a corner off the hallway and so it does catch people's eye a little bit so we want to make sure that it is beautiful. We've got this beautiful shiplap patterned panelling so that is just a really nice texture to have behind the desk. In bedroom number three we've gone for the 900 Easy Ascot panels and painted them sizal rope so it ties in with the rest of the house. 
We've chosen some gorgeous linen sheets and a beautiful subtly textured doona cover and throw from Linen House. Funny how, just a simple room with some nice colour. You layer in bedding and some art and stuff like that and then it's transformed into a beautiful space that you can see yourself in. We have finished bedroom one, two, three, the media room and a large proportion of the hallway. Don't forget the study nook and next episode we have the biggest bathroom that Cara and I have ever created. As well as that we've got the laundry and powder room. Coming up next on Long Jetty Reno. The bath weighs 180 kilos. Thanks, Car. <laughs> no one can tell us we don't have enough storage. Presented by Rams, your local home loan specialists.